In Islam, if you can't find water to wash up and get ready for prayer, then you should use earth or soil to do so. In fact, Prophet Muhammad described earth or dirt as pure and clean, and even told his companions to occasionally walk barefoot on the ground, like he used to do sometimes. So you might be thinking that this is just crazy. And unless you want to contract a disease or something, why on earth would some people want to go anywhere near dirt? If you want to know the answer, stay tuned to find out. Okay, let's start by taking a look at the word dirty. If you take a closer look at this word, which means unclean, well, basically dirty, it clearly comes from the word dirt, which is dust, soil, or earth. The question we're trying to answer here, is dirt really dirty? Well, no, it's not. It really isn't. In fact, soil or earth has been recently proven to be very hygienic and even useful to us. When researchers have exhausted all sources to find new antibiotics to which bacteria are not resistant, they turn to earth. And what they found was pretty amazing. Since the 1940s, all sources of antibiotics came from the soil. Yes, the soil. Since it contains a huge biodiversity of microorganisms, like the ones responsible for breaking down dead bodies, for example. Some of these microorganisms actually produce antibiotics. Dirt or clay can kill antibiotic-resistant E. coli and MRSA, a superbug. A recent study by Dr. Linda Williams from Arizona State University concluded that clay can effectively be used as a healer. This study can be considered as the beginning of using natural resources such as clay as a safe healing substance. And there is another study, a recent one, even stated, if you are wounded, you'd better rub some dirt into the wound to decrease the chances of getting an infection. It is then no wonder that clays have been used, besides pottery, as medical tools for ages. They were used to treat wounds, which is a practice that became common in the 19th century. And then there is a very important thing to consider. Dirt is basically the best way to clean after your dog, especially surfaces and vessels that come in contact with its saliva. The reason being that the saliva of the dog contains incredibly small microbes, making them more efficient at sticking to surfaces and not getting washed away by only water or detergent. Dirt has been proven to contain many important antibiotics, including tetracycline and streptomycin, which were found to be the most effective at sticking to these incredibly small and harmful microbes and destroying them. Another study went on to investigate what types of germs, bacteria, were found in the soil of a green cemetery. A green cemetery is a cemetery where people are buried without caskets or boxes. And since many people die from diseases, viruses, it is not really far-fetched to expect some deadly or harmful bacteria here and there. However, they found none, almost nothing and they concluded that clay, rock and sand act like natural filters that trap the bacteria before they are released into our ecosystem. So, basically, soil was found to be not only hygienic, but also a source of antibiotic and filtering all the bad stuff out. Now, let's take another look at what we mentioned in the beginning of this video. Prophet Muhammad has specifically described dirt as pure and clean. Does that sound crazy to you anymore? Well, he also said that earth has been made for me and my followers as a place of prayer and to be used for ablution, or tayammum. Tayammum is basically using dirt or soil to wash up and get ready for prayer in case you can't find water. The Prophet even encourages companions to walk on earth barefoot, once in a while. He himself did that too. If you want to clean a vessel touched by a dog's saliva, Prophet Muhammad instructed 
that we should clean it using dirt. Well, that if you really want to clean it. In Islam, using caskets or boxes to bury the dead is prohibited. And the dead should be buried without protecting boxes or wood or any kind of that stuff. It is then no coincidence that all children, all children love to play with dirt and mud. It is simply something that God created in them. It helps them build their immune system and protect them in the future. All these facts and more are taken from Islam and the instructions of the Prophet. And as you've seen, these aren't just fairy tales. They are well thought, well studied instructions from someone who has had knowledge beyond what we have now, and certainly beyond what people had 1400 years ago, because he got this knowledge from the source of all, God. Islam is the truth. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to this channel and please like and share to spread the word.